dual heritage, shared future. Yes. We acknowledge, you know, that we all have European blood, Māori blood, other blood, and being living together is about acknowledging the, each other's <laughs> histories and futures. I wouldn't say legacy, I would say probably impact. That's just colonisation in general. Um, every minority ethnic group, every group of colour has that story of colonisation and it's always going to make an impact regardless of how it happened. If it wasn't Captain Cook it would have been Napoleon, if it wasn't Napoleon it could have been anybody else. When I was at school in the 1970s, Australian kids very much had a sense that this was a heroic European endeavour. But I think we understood even at that time that there was something more difficult about this story. It's all good that the uh, legacy of Cook is there and that uh, he's a great explorer and all those. However, um, the legacy for, um, from the First Nations point of view is, is really a bit of a detriment to, uh, to uh, the livelihood and the status of uh, First Nations people. And I would also say that if there are recognition or acknowledgements of those explorers, I certainly want to be part of that, but uh, those chiefs of those nations also need to be recognized, not just the explorers. We've got kind of like a new generation of Polynesian Pacific youth and young artists that are starting to stand up and be like, no, mum, no, dad, I don't agree with what you're saying. Our history is an oral history. We've never been able to write them down. So at the time that James Cook came and started documenting um, through his journals what he was seeing, etc., I think this is really, really important and that we need to start investigating in more detail what's in those journals because lots of those memories have been lost through the colonisation process and hopefully open some doors to us, learning more about ourselves and identifying with our Pacific cultures. I don't agree with how they've written it, but it's great to have that knowledge there of what we were like or the things that we have or have had. And in reading some of those journals, what it has done for me is validate what I was told as a child, what my grandparents told me, what my great-grandparents told me. It's validated those oral histories.